In this video I'm going to show you how to make fuel changes. So what we need to do is click on a fuel map. But let's take a look at the schematic first. If you look at the schematic, I'll just zoom in here. You can see that uh, the mass airflow sensor is the one that we tied into to do the fuel changes. So the signal is generated from the bottom by the mass airflow sensor. goes up into the unit chip, out of the unit chip, and back to the ECU. So let's go back to the software. So now making fuel changes is very easy. All we need to do is put in positive values wherever we want to. That will increase the fuel and put in negative values wherever we want to and that will decrease the fuel. Let's assume that we want to make lots of power and the injectors will not be able to handle the fuel demand. That's now the stock injectors. So what we'll have to do is increase the injector size. So what we can do is click on this icon, it will select a whole map, we can right click it and fill the map with minus 15 and that will automatically take out the fuel to compensate for the bigger injectors. But now what we want to do is as soon as the vehicle goes into boost here we want to take out less fuel so that the vehicle can get more fuel. To do that we will select the whole map here, right click it and fill it with zero. And what we can do is just select this whole map by clicking and dragging, right click it and go to interpolate. And now what's going to happen is the vehicle will take out fuel, or the unit will take out a fuel to compensate for the bigger injectors, but as it goes into boost we will take out less fuel and at the top end we will not take out any fuel so the injectors will be injecting all the fuel that it can. So that way we will get the maximum amount of fuel into the vehicle as needed. Obviously it needs to be fine tuned on the road, but uh, we will show you exactly how to do that.